folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We're in Alpha 13, we're in our town of Cougar's Hope, and I decided to open up right here because this kind of sums up what the last couple of episodes have been about. We're burying the last of the bodies from an attack that we, that we uh, had sent against us two episodes ago and spent last episode kind of cleaning things up. Michael is burying Albio? I guess that's the first, that's the name there, Albio. Alright, so what have we got going on and what do we need to accomplish? Rabbit is doctoring. Now, Camissa finally got up. Camissa was laying flat on the doorway there. Has been fed. Okay. So he snuck that in while I was sitting over here looking at, uh, at Michael. So he did get fed, and Trebo has been moved back into the bed. Okay, so Rabbit has done his wardening duties. Now he's off to make food. Good. Uh, Trebo wanted to catch a couple things I missed last time. One, we want to chat, but we don't want to recruit Trebo. So I don't want to take the chance that... You know, that, that extreme roll of the dice when a difficulty of 99 actually works. And suddenly we have uh, uh, someone that, that cannot participate at anything. In fact, I really wonder if there is some way to use someone who's bedridden. If, you know, maybe, I don't, uh, Alpha 13 isn't, but I wonder if in the future you'll be able to move this person over to a chair and let them research. Or something like that. That'd be a nice, uh, a nice way to, to solve that issue, and a little more realistic. You know, a member of the of the colony would be accommodated, but uh, this being a prisoner, not a member of our colony, I don't want him to become one. Also, I didn't uh, notice last time. I, I'm kind of rusty right now. I've been so long uh, since I played the game. I paused for a second here. Um, I forgot about the recruitment difficulty, so I need to take a look at that. Lure is difficulty 94, so not as bad. And Camissa 99, so not likely going to happen. What do we have over here? Menino 99, and oh, here we go, Chinchilla 90. So most likely we're only going to get Chinchilla male archer, who still is, <laughs> and Lure male warrior. Okay, it was who? Camissa? Who is no longer an archer. Yeah. Um, so, Chinchilla. Let's take a look at you. Character. A night owl and a prostophile. Prostophile means a fear of, right? No. It wants to. Okay. Not the fear of, but the, uh, the yearning for. Uh, limited in his feeble human body, often dreams of being bionic. So this one chinchilla wants some kind of a bionic part and will always have a negative mood as a result of not having one. Negative four all the time. And Lure, what do we got going on here? Lure character psychically sensitive. So that is, whoa, 40 percent too. That's a lot. So that's an issue. Abrasive is an issue too. Abrasive gets on the nerves of everybody else. So there's that to think about. Careful shooter means a show shoot, a slow shooter, but is far more accurate. So that's a bonus. Alrighty. Otherwise, let's just peek at the other two. The Nino, not likely going to happen, but optimistic, dislikes women, and bloodlust. Okay, that could be a problem. And our other is Camissa. Who, let's see here, another abrasive, but is psychically dull. So that, uh, if negative 50% chance of having a, a psychic, a problem with, with psychic drones coming over, that sort of thing. Uh, cargo pods, let's go peek at that real quick. Jump to, just landing south of us, down by the bears. Whoa, that's a long way south. What dropped in there? bunch of meat. Yeah. I'm not even going to unforbid those. Now we had meat dropped off over here. Somewhere. I'm thinking it's long gone. 
the animals right now are starving. In fact, let's see is health, uh, needs, food is way down. There's no food out there. Everything's frozen. Everything's dead. So the bears are carnivores. They're going to eat other animals. In fact, how are they doing? We haven't checked on our bears today. Needs, they have eaten recently. There's one there. The other one is roaming this direction. Yeah, they're heading toward this corner a bit. And you will be eating soon. What's your likely options? We've got some wild boars over here. And we've got uh, the meat that just dropped in. Okay. Otherwise, we still have things to pick up. Lots of stuff to pick up, actually. I did some adjusting before I started, and I've got uh, a few more set to cleaning. I uh, still have two haulers and three cleaners right now, because we are a pretty messed up colony. Lots of blood. Oh, see, we're starting to get cleaned up in here. That's good. Rabbit is making food. I wanted to get rid of this spot right here. So let's do that. Um... Well, I, I say that, but here's an example to where they have not gone in and stocked this. In fact, it would... Ronnie, you are set to what? You're set to halt. No, you're going to eat. Ronnie is set to clean. Okay. Let's stop this. You're consuming a fine meal. Let's do something else. Let's have you haul these meals. You'll get all six of them, most likely. And then let's have you bring over some potatoes. Then you can eat your meal. And we'll have you do the meat as well. That's going to speed you up. Otherwise, you're just going to go after stacks of five. And we'll never really get this, this uh, pattern going again of, of uh, speedy meals. I was going to take out that square so that he only had the choice of, of these two but now I see he will run out before our hauling refills it so I better leave the two stacks Ronnie or Nettie is cleaning um, on the list of things to do kind of going back through the previous episodes to see what worked and what didn't we need a row of sandbags in here we need some cover we've got most of this space dedicated to growing and that's important too once spring hits but we need to protect ourselves in a battle so let's go in with let's see security sandbags and I believe they can walk through the uh, the horseshoe pit so what if we did three there and three there give us a place to hide behind and duck into the uh, the doorway if we have to <clears throat> over here same thing we're randomly using all of our blocks. We don't always have them out here for cover. So I would say cover... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. We're using them as as barriers around our turrets, but you see this one's already been stripped out. I have another turret ready to build over there. Failed to recruit Chinchilla. Okay. 3.3 uh, chance. Uh, chinchilla. Was the 90% one? Yes. So 90% recruitment difficulty of 90 is a 3.3% chance of success. So you can see a 99 is almost impossible. Back to sandbags. I just realized I didn't turn my timer on. Okay, so around 9 o'clock my time is stopping point. <laughs> I'm recording this at night. Um, probably the night before you see it. I would imagine I'll edit it tonight and get it out tomorrow morning. Um, where else in here would do us some good? I need to finish these walls, too. I would think outside each of the doors. Now, pop them out. If you stand right here, there's a potential we're going to go boom. I know it's a 3x3 three three pattern, but I don't know that there isn't any residual effect at all if you're over here just on the fourth space what if we did like that we'll stand right in here if we need to I like that one now I want them to be able to run out here let's from this position most of the rifles were able to reach well reach here in the future we're gonna be reaching right there actually 
when these walls are in, this is going to be the only opening. They're going to walk through. We'll probably put a door right there so they can leave. Okay, so really we're guarding ourselves from that point. For most situations. The geothermal power is done. Good. Let's come right back to that. Uh, most situations. There are situations where they'll be launching rockets and, and lobbing mortars and things at us. And it won't matter where we're standing then. But let's kind of follow the same pattern. Let's protect... Let's protect our power supply. And do something like that. Places to stand over in here that have access to doors. Access to doors. And this is kind of a walkway right here. Maybe eventually we'll move these blocks. And we'll do another area right here to stand behind. This is already enough to do what we need to do. So we'll do that. Um, geothermal power. For those of you who don't know RimWorld, or new to the game, which is very possible. Uh, it's only recently come to Steam, so there's going to be a lot of new folks that are just discovering the the fun that is called RimWorld. This is a thermal vent, a steam geyser. And now we can drop Failed to Recruit. Okay, uh, Mid-sentence here, let me get it to another topic. Failed to Recruit. Ronnie is not succeeding and Bran is not succeeding but each time they try like let's check on Bran right now while we can do this character social pop this up 35 43 out of 9000 until his next level of 9 so 35 oh he moved I'm reading this didn't see he walked away as he is recruiting this number goes up before long he'll be a social level 9 and then a social level 10 each time he goes up that percentage will get better so this is his practice also he uses that skill to trade when he heads over to the comms console and trades with people flying over or trades with the villagers out here so keeping around a a especially the tribal prisoners that are so difficult to recruit uh, like Camissa 99%. They're going to eat a meal once or twice a day, but they're also going to skill up your uh, your social person. So that's an important trade-off. Anyway, research. We just got geothermal. Allows you to build geothermal power plants on top of steam geysers for uninterrupted power. So this power will not turn off with a, a solar eclipse. It will not turn off uh, at night. So we've got a constant supply of power. So that one's going to be important. So we need to assign a new one. And that new one was... Did I already... I have not actually built it. Let me think about that. I want my hospital back. No. Should we make this the hospital? I'm tempted to open that wall up and make this whole thing a hospital. Hmm. This may eventually just be another bedroom. Um, what I'm getting at, I'm, I'm thinking but not speaking. What have we got here? Miscellaneous? Where? No, this is the multi-analyzer I'm thinking of. I was thinking of the vitals monitor. Multi-analyzer. Okay, never mind. Needs plasteel and needs gold. Increases research speed needs to be placed near high-tech research bench. One, one research bench can be linked to only one multi-analyzer. Now, we researched that, and that was I thought that was supposed to open up more tech for us. Maybe, maybe the two of them together, actually installed, is what researches the rest of this. This requires elect prerequisites electric smelting. Right there, okay. High-tech research bench and multi-analyzer. There we go. So once we get the multi-analyzer up and running, then we can have access to more of these. Okay. So for the moment, what is available? Hospital bed? Alice Colonists construct hospital bed, which increases chance of successful medical work. Important. Uh, incendiary IEDs. I like that one. Build incendiary explosive traps from artillery shells. So that... Now is that just 
building them or is that uh, security? Now we have we have the mortar here. Oh, this probably allows you to actually build the shells. Oh, okay. Of all of the mortars that are available, if you've got a siege going on, I like to use, well, at least when it's not winter, I like to use the incendiary ones. The light, if you can make it land anywhere nearby, because these are notoriously uh, inaccurate in their aim. But if you can just get nearby, then it'll light a fire on in within their siege camp, which they will they, they will uh, claim as their home zone, and they will all stop to go fight that fire. So it keeps them distracted while we are bringing snipers in to take them out. So. Yeah, I'll turn this back on. Uh, research then. So I want to get one of those built, but apparently this is what's needed in order to actually make the the artillery to use on it. Huh. Rubing hydroponics. We're not going to deal with hydroponics. Colored lights and double strands. So I'm thinking one of these two. The electric smelter, which is a prerequisite for electric cremation, which gets rid of all of these graves. So cremate, vaporize, and wanted corpses. Electric smelting is re prerequisite to get there. Uh, what are other advantages? Allows smithing items without fuel. The electric smelter uses heat and strong electromagnets to extract useful metals from slag chunks and other materials. It uses a lot of power too. So which one is it? Don't know if we're going to have any operations to work on soon. We might. We might actually recruit Camissa and give her a new left arm. That's very possible. Him. That's right, it's a him. Eclipse. Okay, well, let's pick something because we need to go build a geothermal right now. Eclipse just came in. We are mostly charged, so we've got power to handle it, and we've got this backup bank of batteries if we can't. So we've got, uh, we're ready for this one. But hospital bed or incendiary? I'm going to go with the hospital bed. That might be actually very important here soon. We're not rec uh, researching it at the moment because Eric is busy doing what? No, we we are researching it. It's that and hunting. So where is he at? He's building. Uh, Eric. That's interesting. Oh, because we didn't have a research project. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If you're going to be out here anyway, can you just bring them back, like, all of them? That would be really helpful. Boomalopes are here. That one's set to tame. Okay, geothermal. Power. This brute over here takes 400 steel and 8 components. Ooh, that's... Well, we have 39 components, okay. And we do need to protect this. Enemies will vandalize that thing. They will try to destroy it. Taking out your power is a very wise tactic to taking out you. All right, we're building that there. Let's, hmm. Ha, huh. we need to wall that, but I really like to wall this. Rokes, where are you at? Klaus, you are hauling fine meals to stockpile. Okay, we'll, we'll let that continue. Who else is available? Rokes, you are hauling to sandbags. Let's let you do that, and then I want you to work on one of these spaces. I need to build walls around this guy, too, but I want to at least get one layer completed out here. Let's let him drop off all of this, this iron. The sandbags are made of iron, which is odd to me. They should be made from stone components, from sand. So that's always... I always thought that was kind of strange. Let's get you to do that. And Michael's eating. Eric is just getting back with his iron or steel, which we could leave at any point. Can you do this? You can. I right, just drop that there. The next person who's hauling will pick it up. Brand, you are attempting to recruit Lur. Okay. Lur is up and about. Good. He was the worst off. How did he end up? He's got the infection still. Immunity is 100%. He's already immune. It's just a matter of uh, waiting for the next time cycle to end, and then this will go away. Otherwise, no permanent injuries. He, 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 male warrior. 
Careful shooter, abrasive. 94 difficulty. Okay. May have to dig up my list soon. See who we're going to rename Lur as if he makes it. Who do we have left? We've got Dwayne and AJS left from last time. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we got stuff hauled to here, which means they will be worked on again soon. But they want to work on the sandbags first, and that's probably a good idea. These sandbags are next. Okay, do the list. Um, I was curious what was going on right here. It was suggested that there were possibly um, um, stockpiles in here, but there's no stockpiles. But all, all of a sudden we had raw goods sitting in here. And what was really interesting is I can't haul them away. Cannot haul berries is a prisoner's room. I don't remember coming across that before. So... Don't quite get that. Camissa is here sleeping. So that gives us five. I want to know what happens if I were to turn this off as a prison. Can I... Turning off prisoner mode affects the whole room, since prisoners and colonists cannot sleep in the same room. These people will lose ownership of their beds. Are you sure you want to do this? Now, will they start to attack? Will they be considered uh, escaping? Or can... See, I don't know of any other way to get... Where's Brand at? Brand is our chief warden. Brand, 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 Brand. Don't see ya. So, architect, work, brand is over here. Can I get you to do anything with them? Strip is all I get. I really want you to move them from here to here. If I destroy the beds, what about that? Can I uninstall? Maybe that will do it. Let's un uninstall two. And let's get them working on it right now. Can you do this, please? And can you do this, please? And if they do that, will one of them suddenly get a trigger that, that they need to be moved from here to there? I want to get all the prisoners over here. Okay, with that, what have we got? Brand now is... I want to catch him before he goes to bed. Where'd you go? There you are. You are doing what? Making kibble. Which means you're probably delivering kibble, right? Uh, making. So you're delivering. Okay. So I won't interrupt that, but I will at least right-click on these guys. Prioritize chatting with and taking to bed. Okay. Well, we'll do one at a time. Somebody's going to take Chinchilla to bed. That'll be fine. Brand is available now. He is registered to go to bed. No, we're not going to do that. Let's have you have you chat with. That'll keep you from going to bed for a while. While somebody else, probably Michael, is set to haul new. Who got the trigger? Somebody did because the message went away. Someone's going to take a uh, Doesn't say whom. Huh. There we go. Take to bed. You're going to go there. We're going to uninstall. Michael, if you were to uninstall, does Menino become a, a uh, escaping prisoner? Hoping not. Bran, can you? You can only strip. Still? There we go. Gotcha. Okay, we've got our prisoners in one place now. Someday when we don't have prisoners, we'll think about redesigning this. But for the moment, we've got a bedroom back. You. Actually, we've got, I guess, a, a bedroom. We'll make this a hospital. Um, normal bed good bed 
and excellent bad you install there okay well that's solved Nettie is sewing area oh our, our pots in here these give does it say how much of a bonus flammability lifespan does not brighten up a drab room must be replanted often it causes a little bit of happiness when they're sleeping right next to it so they get eight hours worth of a little bit of a bonus as well as the bonus they get when they're sleeping in a really good quality bed and on wooden floors and there's lots of bonuses you can work into each of your characters for the eight hours they're going to stay in this room now there used to be a, a negative for having a room dark but i think that's gone now for sleeping you know, now that they can sleep in a dark room oh was disturbed you see that red z that went up and then he went in and disturbed rogues now rogues is going to be uh, hit with a disturbed sleep of negative four okay i know you're helping Okay, back to the list here. Um, I have fixed meat stockpiles. I think it's an old note from before. Going, th going through the old one. Uh, components from ship parts. Oh, we still have ship parts out here. But actually, the priority for most of them is just to continue hauling. Which, we have a few things left over there. I have quite a bit over here. Got to keep bringing this stuff in. But beyond that... Uh, cold snap is over. Oh, good. What were we inside? We're 69 inside. We're actually holding. So, if cold snap is over, let's turn off these two. Uh, designate or toggle power. Okay. Turn off those two. That's going to help out. Had an eclipse. That's right. So there's no, um, no power coming in through thermal or um, um, solar this guy has not even been started yet we're gonna have to assign somebody to it but uh, in all fairness they've been sleeping since we did this let's get power conduits run to it and here's where it gets a little challenging because we need it to go to the batteries well it will back feed as long as we don't hit a circuit that goes to the uh, the mortars so I guess we could head over to here actually that can go just like that all right we could do that what was that eclipse and cargo pods and we've got potatoes and it's perfectly safe to head out over here though again the animals will still eat them before we get there but I'll un forbid them so what's happened down here I'm expecting a whole bunch of red on the snow around these bears nope no nope, you did not eat you will be eating real soon in fact, as soon as they wake up they'll be eating it might be an interesting show to watch sandbags turret indoors Klaus and I were having a discussion about the challenges of RimWorld, and I was mentioning that we haven't had any real thing, you know, anything real devastating happen yet. You know, there are times when pirates or what have you can drop right in to within the walls, or even smash through right, you know, with their pods right into the base. And it dawned on me, I don't have a turret inside. It'd be nice to get a turret like right here. Actually, right there in the path, it can shoot up into here, or you know, if there's a door breach, or it can shoot either direction, and then maybe one here. It's got a good line of sight of all of the doors and anywhere else they can invade. So let's set that up as well. Get a turret that we can turn off, I guess, manually. We'll see. Security turret. Let's just set one for now. We'll figure out the wiring and, and switching later. But I need that going. There's no point in having a switch right here to switch it on. You may as well just take the next step and actually, you know, flick the switch. Toggle power on. So this will probably be unswitched. Uncircuit switched. Um... 
bear. That's what I was doing. We're roaming. Oh, it already happened. Missed it. So, needs. He's eating right now. This one ate a while back. So he... Oh, little blood puddles going on there. I'm certain that there were more than four of these. So they have been eating on these as well. The pig probably was. This pig will be heading there to get a meal too. He now is full. And there is a pig to pick up. With a little bit left. Huh. Actually, we're sitting good on meat. Where we're, where we're lacking is, uh, is vegetables. And we are now powered. All right, let's do this. Growing strawberries. Yeah. Oh, we're set. I see. We just need to be unforbid. So allow sowing and allow sowing and you are rice. Rice and strawberries. All right, we'll get that going. Who was our planter? Grow netty. And rabbit is actually put you back to a one on growing. Okay. So one of them, probably both of them, will dive down here and start filling this in. Nettie's already started. So we've got meat wise, we get this into some snow. We've got three, four and a half, seven. Thousand, roughly a thousand meat right now. Vegetables, we've got four, five, six, a little over six. So we're going to run out of vegetables long before we run out of meat. I was debating whether to send them out hunting, but that's a distraction we don't necessarily need right now. Uh, we need to get this guy picked up, and then we can. Actually, there's quite a few things to pick up before we can set up traps. Who's available? They're all busy. There's nobody idle. Just matter who I want to disturb. Brand is working. Klaus is hauling steel to stockpile. Good. And so he's picking up all the steel and cleaning up the stockpile and reorganizing it. Good. But with that, I'm going to have you come and get this thing. Bring that in. Then I can set these guys to reset. I don't want to auto-reset them. So I'm still not convinced that my people are never going to be harmed by these traps. I think there's a, a percentage chance that they are. That's right. I was going to set up um, this stuff. Got to rethink that one too. I've been I've been putting up the, uh, the stockpiles for the steel slag as a method of slowing them down as they're walking through. But if we set up the electric smelter, then they're going to be walking through these traps to go and get all the stuff out of here. So I'd say there's a good chance that's going to actually work against us here real soon. We're not researching it yet, but I'm not going to add more to it. So let's go ahead and have them reset these. What is that? M. Okay, that's a little faster. And this one and this one. I'm not going to get into these guys because we got stuff kind of stacked around them. They may come through here to get to that and go back out. So I'll wait. Ooh, the eclipse is gone. Turn that off. Ooh, that's nice and bright out there. Temperature outside is 49. Not bad. About the temperature outside my place today. And the the uh, leaves are coming back. Tenth of winter. What was the season? Fifteen? So we're starting to see the ends of winter now. Okay. Building our turret. Otherwise, we have three people hauling right now. I wonder if I need to change that to even more just to get it done. There are other things we do need to have done, though. We need someone building, we need somebody planting, we need someone cooking, we need somebody wardening. So with eight people, we are kind of limited in how much we can actually do. We're just going to have to accept the fact that some of these things are never going to get brought in in time before they've gone bad. Remy has been injured by a, tur a turtle, a tortoise. Yeah, yep, yep, those... 
turtles are that's probably what's going on over here and there he goes how you doing <laughs> how'd you fare 38 percent uh, bleed rate and you're leaving the map as fast as you can get out of here uh-huh wonder if turtles are that difficult in reality I would imagine they're hard to take down for an animal because they can hide in their shell but I wouldn't think that they would fight back that uh, to that extent let's peek around here and there's a war a wild warg just kind of verify that we don't have any cougars on the map right now what are those a bush okay was that failed to recruit so it may be time soon to let one or two of these guys go probably do that at the end of this episode if you guys see a cougar in there let me know I'm not seeing anything nor any extra grizzlies and I don't know what other carnivores the game will throw at us unless it considers a warg one all right, so back to the map. Let's see, Trebo, we've reset. Steel doors. That's something I wanted to do. Let's get all of these Destructors X. Right there. All of these outer doors. Uh, outdoor temperature is 54. Let's specifically do this one. Resting? No, take the door apart, please. These other ones are have got um, X um, airlocks. Brand, can you actually let's reset this structure? Not an auto door and steel. Steel there. Nobody's gotten to these other ones. Brand, you are making kibble. How about you uh, work on steel door? These other two can be done when convenient, because we have another door to back them up. Let's get rid of this one, too. But I want the exterior doors to be something a little bit harder than wood. And we need to replace these walls, too, or else uh, get a second layer going and uh, strengthen them. Double layer, probably a good idea. Um... These guys are probably going to be able to grab power from a near con nearby conduit, so I don't think I need to do anything special with that. What else here? Set up pet area. That's done. I think that is the end of my list. We're doing some talking down here. I wonder how Ronnie's doing. Let's pause a second. First of all, character Jake, or a brand, for social, has quite the passion for it. Burning passion. So let's watch this go up. 6504. So he's talking. 6579. And he's done. Okay, he failed. But you can see how that uh, takes him up. Social... 37, so she's just hit level 6. 53. Yeah, so that's 70. So that's how uh, how you build up your social skills. Let them talk. Otherwise, who do we know... Who do we not want? Who is the most abrasive? Lure. Prisoner. 94. Camissa. Prisoner. 99 character abrasive I'm thinking Kermissa is a release we'd have to replace the arm as well I'm gonna say we've done our service of keeping her alive let's send her back home she's gonna tell her tribes people that we're not as bad as they think we are and it's going to drop our our increase better our relationship with the Barra of the Ridge which world factions Bara, 
of the ridge, negative 92 against us. So, Commissa, prisoner, release. Let's find somebody before he goes to bed. Bran, where are you? There you are. You, that's right, you are a cook in training. That's why you're spending so much time with the kibble. Uh, consuming a simple meal. All right, well, let you do that. Oh, because all the other meals are over here. Okay. Uh, Klaus is hauling wood. Yeah, but leave that there for a second. Can you clean up the meals? Be nice to get those in their stockpile. Rokes, you are... This door never got finished. Let's... And let's do that again. Okay, you'll grab that steel right there. And there we go. Now we get our door in because we were outside temperatures. Yeah. Now we're indoors again. Let's start warming up. Um, so, Rokes, you are probably working on a turret. Brand, I need you to... Commiss is going to sleep off the night. Okay. We'll try to remember next time to, to deal with that. I'd like to see it happen, though. But I don't think I can wake Commissa up. But we're delivering meals to everybody who's hungry. Spirit decided that that's where she wanted to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone's going to bed. Michael is up meditating. He's probably going to get something to eat now. No, he's going to start hauling. Good. So we'll get one more evening of more of this stuff hauled away. All the bodies are gone. Be nice to get rid of a dead muffalo. I'd have to have another stockpile. City at the tree. Okay, that's different from Barrett of the Ridge. Okay. Travelers are coming by. Travelers are coming by. Make sure there's a trader in here. There you are. No, don't get the sense anybody here is tradable. I don't think that you can just walk up to somebody and start trading and trade, you know, trade them for their parka. They've got to be there specifically for that reason. So what did we get done? We do have a place to stand back behind some kind of a barrier to shoot. We'll always have somebody here aiming for this area. Well, actually, that's directly above it. That's not really going to give them... It may still count as cover. Have somebody here, that'll count as cover. Probably better so than a sandbag. So we have those two built into the uh, into the building. And I wonder if it would be advantageous... Oh, I thought you had a cloak on, but that's just two people. To have little cutouts in this wall, and they would act as a place to... You know, as something like this. Don't know. You guys are just going to wander in. Yep. Hey, our doors are gone. All right, let's do that. Steel door, and we're going to keep it one in so that uh, we've got a place to hide in there. Can't really pull that tactic anywhere else. So there. No. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. That was all of them. Yeah. How's our moods with our prisoners? Mood is good. Now, in fact, the moods are outstanding. I'm guessing if you keep their moods in good shape, then you're not going to have to deal with... Um, just counting heads here. Deal with the uh, the prisoners trying to break out. I would imagine that has only, thing, only to do with angry prisoners. But I'm not certain on that. I've not had a breakout so far in Alpha 13. Never, not had even a hint of it. So either I treat them too well or or it's random chance or it really has something to do with our power's almost out. It has something to do with the uh, the way that you know what their moods are. Okay, so we need to get this guy built. I see I'm probably running out of time here soon. Another five or ten minutes we'll call this one done. Michael is doing that. I need to increase the priority over here. Nettie is planting good. These vegetables should um, 
hit maturity about the time these run out. And then these guys will harvest. Uh, or the harvest here should be pretty equal to the extra meat that we had in stock. So I'm hoping in the end we're going to end up with a bunch of fairly even quantities. Then once that's done, spring hits, we replant our main area. If we keep that as our main area, we may move that out to somewhere over here. We did it here because we have an area in there of fertile ground, like this area here and this area here. I hate to move our farms out here because it's such a long walk back in over and over again. So it's really convenient to have it nearby. That sounds like fire. What am I hearing? Now it stopped. Is it Remy moving? Or is it... It's not that. There was a crackling noise a while ago. Maybe there was cooking going on. Yeah, there's cooking. Grizzly bear self-tamed. Ooh. And a cougar took his place. Male cougar, age 7. Needs health. So we've got female grizzly, 12 years old, grizzly bear 1, needs health. We've got a grizzly bear. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's play with animal areas. We have not been restricting the wargs. Do we restrict a grizzly? I'm thinking not. How do you figure out right there, master? No, none of them are are uh, attached to anybody. I prefer to keep it that way. But is there a way to choose that? If I choose Selma, social, training, I don't. See, oh, because they're not trained. Okay. In fact, we got to think about training. Left fist, or uh, what am I seeing here? Selma has a scar on his. I keep calling Selma a girl. On his right eye, because of a human left fist from that that battle that we went through two episodes ago, right over here. Okay. So let's let's start thinking about our training. Boomlope, three, training, both. Boomlope, two, both. Trainer Boomlopes for release. Selma, obedience, rescue. Let's go for rescue first on the wargs. Well, let's see, do we have, you're set for everything and nothing has happened. Aha. Uh -huh. Hall would really be nice, too. So many things. Let's turn that off. Go for Hall on you and Rescue on, on uh, Selma. And what do we train our bear for? Animals. Grizzly. Training. We're only allowed the two. Okay, we'll do it. So when Rabbit is not cooking, because he's got the highest handle score as well. So when he's not cooking, he should be able to train uh, uh, brand actually brand can you instead haul rice and fill this up for rabbit and rabbit can you haul all of the meat please not just five thank you so let's get this a uh, little more efficient over here all right so yeah we'll let the grizzly roam like the wargs do it should be no difference and we'll get their training started. Have I missed anybody for training? We did two boomlopes, a bear. We did not do spirit. Can spirit haul? Cannot. Can only release. Let's do obedience only. I don't see the advantage of release at this point, unless unless there's a whole pack of them. And speaking of a pack of them, Klaus was was talking about uh, noticing that he wasn't able to really help with that last battle because he's melee. And it is really hard to send melee out against somebody who's going to shoot him before he even gets there. 
but if we, you know, in this situation here, where we had Selma being attacked and was attacking, if we could bring four or five melee, position them right here, after the group of enemies works their way in, trips the traps, we send the melee in to start beating them up from behind, we might have the ability to do something with them here. So, seems like many of these guys are melee. Character? Melee? For Chinchilla? Uh, we, uh, oh, I didn't notice. Pause. Kamis is gone. That happened. Kamisa, where are you? Let's just scan the, uh, the horizon here. We've got a grizzly. Grizzly's roaming. Is this grizzly... One. Oh, we still have two grizzlies and a cougar. Okay, animals. Where's grizzly one? No, that's grizzly one. It's not giving me a name. Over here, that's three. Oh. Okay, wandering. It's not a good place to be. You're a pet now. You don't want to be down with these guys. They play rough. Well, eventually Grizzly is going to probably head back up toward home territory. So we have two Grizzlies and a Cougar down here yet. I see. Where is Kamisa? Kamisa, that was the name, right? With Chinchilla around, I got... Camilla in my mind. I'm thinking he's already off the map. Okay. I just noticed this over here. Let's send somebody to actually go and get that. Uh, Michael, you are hauling kibble. Let's just get you to right there. Alright. Let's have you go and haul a group of these guys. Uh, haul potatoes. We're going to be lacking vegetables. It seems a shame to let that just rot out there. Klaus, you are suddenly available. Can you haul the other batch of them? Okay. Yeah, there's more than 75 there, so it'll take two people. All right. Failed to recruit, 3.3 .3 chance, and Kamisa has left the map. Factions... We're still at 92%, so he has not made it back home yet. When he finally does make it home, then we should get a little notice saying that our, our relationships have improved. At least, I don't believe he's here. I didn't miss him, right? Right. I was looking to see what our... So we've got nobody, or no skills, so this one will be melee. Melee. And shooting. So we have two more melee potentially and we already have two I think it's Rokes and Klaus so we'll have a potential of four melee that can become our new brute squad our melee brute squad that we can send into the uh, you know the uh, the gauntlets to take the uh, take out uh, enemies hand uh, hand to hand all right I kind of like that idea We'll see if we can be up and ready for next time. Speaking of next time, I need to shut this down. Is there anything else that I truly need to get done before I leave? Failed recruit. Okay, we've got our barrier here. I left that one for the growing, but it may also be able to walk through. Did we get this done? We did. So let's get this set for next time. They're going to walk through, go around, and come back. I'm thinking we'll do one side at a time. Don't want them walking through here and coming out and walking through here on us. We want to keep them forced to go in one way or the other. So, architect, structure, walls, marble. Let's set these guys. Yeah, there. There. And we'll go ahead and get this set. How best to do that? Now we're going to try to put turrets in here. Um, 
Okay, we'll leave that. We'll plan out this more carefully next time. We'll stop it right there. And I want to put in a steel door right here. And that way, let's see, we'll be able to walk through and out this corner when we want to. Also want to get a set of steel doors in over here. We've got a concrete path going here out this door. Let's continue that path on out. Uh, where are paths? What would that be? Floors. Concrete. Let's send concrete out like so. And let's break through, let's see. Right click, click on U, X. That work? Did not. Cancel C, okay. And U, X. All right, let's get a set of doors right through down this pathway and out. And then we'll probably call this one structure, I call this one done. So there, there, and eventually, can I just do that? Oh, I can. Okay, they'll take care of it all that way. So with that, we have a way out. Um, we need to do that again over here too at some point. Although we're gonna be out this way and we're gonna be out this way. That's probably enough. The other advantage to having the doors is to be able to step in and reset a trap. I do like that. All right, let's set those as well. So we're gonna walk through here and shoot down the lengths. So we could trap after that. So trap, trap. And then door in between. So right about there, there. Do we need it there though? Probably not. So one, two, three, seven. If we do it uh, as a pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, door. I think that works. Should have set these up a long time ago. And we'll have our last trap like right here. And probably no trap right at the beginning. Is that the best way? Possibly. Over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Door. Will it reset to a wall? Well, we'll do something else here real quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll do that. And that's good for the exterior doors. Never did get power to these, these doors over here. So let's put a marble wall on each side. That will reset the orientation of the door. Okay. And we'll just do that. All right. With that, I think we can call this one done. We've got this flushed out. We've had an episode of cleanup. We've had an episode of construction. So next episode, we've got to start wondering if our next attack is coming soon. Klaus is hauling... Hauled in the dead tortoise. Okay. All right, so... Does that mean everything else is picked up? No, it doesn't. So they prioritize food over the top of goods. Interesting. Okay, with that, we're going to call this one done. I'm, I'm guessing I've hit about an hour, a little longer than I wanted to. Let's hit uh, pause on these guys. I'll save it, and we'll start up here next time. So thanks, guys, for watching. Hit the uh, like and subscribe or thumbs up down there if you would. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.